Hi, welcome all. Today we are going to see RF field effect transistors in 5th unit RF system design concepts. So, field effect transistors are shortly called FET are monopolar devices, monopolar or unipolar device. Unipolar device means the current flow is due to only one type of carrier that is either due to holes or due to electrons. Not in a case of BJD the current flow is through two types of charge carriers. So, it is called bipolar junction transistor. Here the current flow is three is due to only one type of uh, charge carrier. So, it is called unipolar or monopolar device. Like either electrons or holes contributes the current flow through the channel and the two types of there are two types of FET that is P channel FET and N channel FET. FET is a voltage control device that means here the gate source voltage controls the current from source to drain. In the case of BJD the current the current controls the uh, flow flow of current the input current base current controls the flow of output current from the emitter to uh, collector. So, it is a BJT is a current control device whereas FET is a voltage control device. So, here a variable electric field controls the current flow from source to drain by changing the applied voltage on gate electrode. So, as far as the construction of FET is concerned, FETs are classified according to how the gate is connected to the conducting channel, how the gate is isolated from the conducting channel. Say in the, the first category is MISFET that means metal insulator semiconductor FET. Here the gate is isolated from the channel through an insulation layer. So, metal oxide semiconductor FET belongs to this class. In the case of J-FET or junction FET, the gate is isolated from the conducting channel through the reverse bias of PN junction. Okay. And uh, next in the case of MESFET that is metal semiconductor FET, the gate is isolated from the channel with the help with the, with the help of short key contact. As we have discussed in the previous class, a metal semiconductor contact is called the short key, short key contact. Okay. So, here in the mess bed, the short key contact uh, is used to isolate the gate and the conducting channel. So, uh, based on the gate channel isolation, we have three types. One is mess bed, where the insulation layer is used, J fed where the reverse bias P injunction is used and mess fed where the short key contact is used. So, these three classification. Another classification of it based on the construction is heterofit. Heterofit means as we have previously discussed, heterostructures are used. Heterostructure means more than, more number of semiconductor layers. That means different semi, different uh, semiconductor layers, different materials. So, that is called a heterostructure. So, heterostructures use abrupt transitions between layers of different semiconductor materials. Examples are gallium uh, aluminium arsenide, that is GAALAS. Uh, transition to a GAAS. So, this is an example of a heterostructure. Similarly, GAINAS to GAALAS. So, this is a, a heterostructure. And example for this heterofet is high electron mobility transistors, which we will discuss in the forthcoming discussion. That is, HEMT belongs to this class. This figure shows the construction of a FET. As we have discussed, there are three terminals. Uh, MISFET that is my first category metal insulator semiconductor FET that means the gate is isolated from the channel through the insulator ok here there is the insulator other the three terminals are source gate and drain and the gate is isolated from the channel that is from the channel through this insulator ok so this uh, diagram ending p type substrate and the source and drain are n plus this plus as we have this as we have discussed previously n plus means highly doped uh, that is a high co concentration of impurities N plus. So, that is indicated by this plus. So, N plus regions for source and drain and the channel is P type. Channel is of P type. Okay. So, the substrate is of P type. Okay. So, this is metal insulator semiconductor FET. Next one is J FET. So, this diagram shows here reverse bias to PN junction is used to isolate the gate and the channel. So, there are also the three terminals source, gate and drain and the reverse bias PN junction is used here to isolate the uh, gate from the channel and next one is MESFET ok. The third category is MESFET that is metal semiconductor FET where the short key contact is used that is metal contact with the semiconductor is used to isolate the gate from the semiconductor material. So, these uh, indicates the structures of FET ok. So, in the three cases the current flow is directed from the source to drain with the gate controlling the current flow. The current flow is uh, as in the transistor the current flow is from the emitter to collector. So, here the current is current flow is from source to drain. And the gate is controlling the current flow. Okay. 
due to the presence of a large capacitance formed with a gate electrode and the insulator or reverse bias pn junctions misfits and jfets have relatively low cutoff frequency so uh, the cutoff frequency for misfits and jfets are very low so they cannot be used for high rf high frequency applications so very high frequency applications misfits and jfets cannot be used whereas uh, misfits that is uh, metal semiconductor uh, fits are used for very high frequency applications but misfits and jfets can all, can be used for rf they can be used uh, for uh, ranges up to 1 gigahertz so which is covered in rf so up to 1 gigahertz for uh, whereas very high frequency applications for millimeter wave like that 60 to 70 gigahertz and hemd operate beyond 100 gigahertz for these operations the hemd that is a uh, um, hemd uh, transistor hemd fits are used high mobility electro high electron mobility transistors are used okay next for rf applications mesfets and hemds are used for rf applications mesfets and hemds are used electrically fits are classified as enhancement that are operated in two modes that is enhancement mode and depletion mode in enhancement mode the channel experiences increases in carrier as the name indicates enhancement means there is increase in the carriers and the depletion mode the channel experiences depletion of carriers that is removal of carriers for normally and there are also two fits normally off fit and normally on fit normally off fit mean the fit is non conducting until a sufficiently positive gate voltage sets up a conducting channel after that if a sufficient gate voltage is set the fit become on okay so hence it can be operated in enhancement mode so d is missing sorry normally on fits can be of both enhancement as well as depletion mode whereas normally off fit can be operated only in enhancement mode okay normally on fit means it is reverse of this okay the fit is conducting so the normally the fit will be conducting until a gate voltage is applied this diagram shows the functionality of mesfet for different drain source voltages okay so here the this is the gate source voltage and the voltage applied between the drain and source is called the, this is n plus n plus so the drain and the source is called the drain source voltage and gate source voltage which uh, this controls the channel which is called the gate source voltage okay so this diagram shows that for different voltages the ds that is the space charge region varies that is space charge region varies Uh, for the different uh, this is the l indicates the channel width l indicates the channel width and this ds indicates the space charge region okay and mesfets find applications in rf microwave amplifier mixers and oscillator circuits so the applications of uh, mesfets are in rf microwave amplifier mixer and oscillator circuits and this diagram this uh, this is a symbol for effet that is the, the three terminals source terminal which is indicated by an arrow drain terminal and a gate 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 terminal so this is the symbolic uh, representation of a jfet or of a fet okay of a jfet and a transfer characteristics there are two types of characteristics so as we have the input and output characteristics in case of bjt here we have transfer characteristics and drain characteristics or output characteristic transfer characteristic means vgs versus id for different gate source voltages what is the drain current and uh, transfer characteristics or output characteristics means what is vds versus id that is uh, for drain source voltages versus drain current so here as we have see so here the when you reply when you look at the output characteristics there are uh, two regions here this is the linear region another one is saturation region this region is saturated that means after a particular voltage up to this voltage when yes the current is increasing linearly id is increasing linearly after that even though the vds is increased so after the uh, vds VG, VG, vds is increased so the id remains that is the drain current remains uh, saturated after that it will not increase so this voltage the voltage at which the uh, current becomes the drain current becomes saturated is called the pinch of voltage so this voltage so at this this voltage this voltage is called the pinch of voltage and as we have seen for vgs equal to 0 the we have the we have got the maximum drain current okay and for every every some particular voltage the drain current becomes maximum which is called the pinch off voltage okay so the short key contact builds up a channel space charge domain that affects the current flow from source to drain the space charge extent ds can be controlled with the gate voltage as in this figure so this uh, ds is called the space charge region so this can be varied space charge extent can be controlled via the 
8 voltage and the expression for the space charge extent is root of 2 epsilon q by into vd minus vgs by nd so this is uh, charge concentration carrier concentration and this vgs is the gate source voltage and drain voltage as we have seen this uh, gs we are gate source voltage by varying this gate source voltage this uh, ds can be varied okay space charge extent can be varied so the drain current depends linearly on the drain source voltage for small vds as the drain source voltage increases the space charge domain near the drain contact increases this results in non uniform distribution of the depletion region along the channel the space charge extends over the entire channel depth d the drain to source voltage for such situation is called the drain saturation voltage or vd sat pinch of voltage is the drain to source voltage after which the drain to source saturation becomes almost constant and enters into saturation region it is given by vp equal to q nd d square by 2 epsilon as we have seen previously this voltage that is the voltage at which the drain current becomes saturated so at this point this point this point is called the pinch of voltage so the maximum saturation current is obtained when vgs equal to zero as we infer from the graph so with this we have uh, we will conclude the topic of field effect transistors and uh, the next topic uh, in the forthcoming class we are going to see about high electron mobility transistors questions differentiate bjt and fit so what is the differences between BJT? this is a current control device this is a voltage control device here the terminals are emitter base collector here the terminals are source drain and gate and this is a bipolar device that is current flow is through uh, both types of carriers here current flow is through only one type of carriers or a unipolar device define pinch of voltage so as we have discussed the for every uh, gate source voltage for increase in vds the id increases linearly and after that for a particular uh, vds it remains uh, after particular voltage it uh, vds it remains saturated or constant so that uh, voltage the knee of the curve is called the pinch of voltage what do you mean by transfer characteristics of it transfer characteristic means uh, the, there are two characteristics drain characteristics and transfer characteristics drain, drain, transfer characteristic means output voltage versus output current vds versus id for constant vgs drain characteristic means vgs versus id okay so with this we have come to the conclusion Thank you. We'll meet in the next class. Bye.